as a very open culture and people are willing to speak up about good things and bad things and bring their own perspective into our discussion. So to me that's been refreshing. There's a lot of respect for different ideas. We work together because of the way we were able to collaborate with the client and also with our colleagues. When I think of trust, I think of it in two respects, both sort of truthfulness and integrity on the one hand and competence and reliability on the other. And I think both are really important and both are really present and fundamental to, to what we do at BFA and how we do it. Because we know that we're talking about very sensitive issues. Um, so we go out of our way to make sure that the end customers are comfortable, um, that we know they know that we're very serious about their data. We are willing to say no to certain projects if we don't think that particular project would have a positive impact in the lives of the poor. That gives um, our clients and our potential clients a good reason to trust us. We are not bringing business for the sake of it. We are in the business of helping the poor, enhancing their well-being with our work. BFA encourages people to think beyond conventional means. You can see these new ideas coming out in the projects that people do. Instead of doing the traditional focus group that, that other firms might do, we actually built a rough prototype of the product and then used some interactive methods like role play to um, hear from people themselves on, on what they thought of the product. It's very clear that there's yeah a lot of creative thinking and, and engagement of our, our minds in what we do. So one of the ways that BFA really focuses on this creative thinking and applied learning is by triangulating the amount of information that we get from the MIS of these institutions, um, the deep client insights from surveys that we do, and also the business case work based on the institution's particulars. Part of our purpose, I think, is constantly to move to the frontier of our field. And that means a lot of change because the field is changing. We're starting to experiment with agile project consulting um, and the company has been very eager to learn it. Say, okay, you, you have an, an interesting idea, put it to work. David Porteous took the initiative to do this impact evaluation of our projects. And this allows us to have an honest discussion about what we could have done better and why things may have gone the way they did. I knew David in South Africa before he came to the U.S. and started BFA, and I think that when he started this company, he started with such an intention of creating a good culture that we just couldn't help but imprint ourselves in his same way of thinking. Our challenge now at BFA is to make these basics actually live and breathe and adapt.